Hey and welcome back to the problem from conditional trigonometric identities. In the given question, we will start from left hand side, which is given as cos A into sin B into sin C plus sin A into cos B into sin C plus sin A into sin B into cos C. Additionally, the conditional information is given where A, B and C are the angles of a triangle, which is equal to pi radian. That is 180 degree. We are supposed to prove 1 plus cos A into cos B into cos C. Let's start our solution taking sin C common from the first two parts of left hand side. So we can write it as sin C as common. There remains cos A into sin B from the first part plus sin A into cos B from the second part. And we copy the third part as same. That is sin A into sin B into cos C. Now, if you observe the bracket, it has cos A into sin B plus sin A into cos B, and it can be compared with the formula sin A plus B is equals to sin A into cos B plus cos A into sin B. So let's replace the bracket by sin A plus B. And the remaining part we copy the same from above. Sin A into sin B into cos C. Now, as we know, sin A plus B using the given information and following the cast rule can be written as sin C. First of all, we take angle C on the right hand side and it will be pi radian minus C and keeping sine on both sides, we can express sin A plus B as sin C. So doing the same, we write sin C into sin C in place of sin A plus B plus the remaining we copy the same. Now following the simplification sin C into sin C can be written as sin square C plus sin A into sin B into cos C will be written same from above. Now, this sin square C can be compared with the formula sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So, sin square C can be replaced by the similar formula 1 minus cos square C. And the remaining we write the same once again sin A into sin B into cos C. Now keeping one same and taking minus cos C common from the second and the last parts, we can write minus cos C outside the bracket. And here remains single cos C when common minus sign and this plus sign is multiplied it will be minus and from the last part it remains sign a into sign b once again using the given information cos c can be replaced by one of its formula using the information that is when a plus b plus c is equal to pi radian taking C on the right hand side and keeping cos on both sides, we can replace cos A plus B as minus cos C. Since we have cos C given in the equation, taking this minus sign in front of cos A plus B, we replace this cos C by minus cos A plus B. So writing the same, we continue as 1 minus cos C 
and minus cos a plus b. That's by using the information. Then minus sine a into sine b, the remaining parts. Once again, we apply the formula of cos a plus b keeping minus sign and starting the curly bracket. We can write cos a plus b as cos a into cos b minus sine a into sine b. So we do same here. And the last one, we copy the same from above. That is minus sine A into sine B. Let's take minus sine common and break the bracket. We get minus into cos A into cos B will be minus cos A into cos b minus and minus when multiplied will be equal to plus and sine a into sine b and the remaining we write the same that is minus sine a into sine b as you see inside the big bracket sine a into sine b has opposite sign Let's cancel them being equal with opposite sign. And finally, breaking the big bracket by minus cos C, it will be minus and minus as plus. And multiplying all the terms, we get cos A into cos B into cos C. And these are the right hand side we require in the question. I hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step solution here. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, stay healthy.